Hello, I'm Marnell from Mimi's Keepsakes. Welcome and thank you for joining me. I am back with the hashtag 50 stack challenge. Usually I will do that one week and the other week the hashtag sewing notions challenge. So that is what we are doing this week. So we are on number 23, which is paint splatters. And I deliberately put out some blue things today blue options just because i thought everything kind of feels very pink in my little box i know there's a couple of blue things in there but more pink than anything else and maybe i should look at other colors too but let's decide what we want to do that one oh, this one is nice but oh, I like these two. This one might be if it was a little taller. So let's move that one to the side. Do I want to add maybe like a collage or I have this here? Oh, you know what? I need paint splatters. Okay, <laughs> I have to remember that. Oh yeah, it's paint yeah, paint splatters. Um how about I add this in the background and then paint the background and then add some splatters as well. Let's see what I have here. <clears throat> something like that okay let's do it oh but maybe maybe i should paint this i'm gonna paint this first um let's make the background like a light blue like the sky is in the back there I want to see how this blue looks. It's very bright. Where did I put my flower? <clears throat> it actually doesn't look too bad with the flower. And this is just a very cheap paint set. You can probably buy at the dollar store even or Walmart probably. And this would be in the kids paint section. I found it at the thrift store. Found a bunch of them. I think there was in one bag something like 10 packs of these. And I thought, oh, I should have bought put gesso down. Anyway, it's too late. Anyway, I um found these at the thrift store and um thought, you know what, for what I'm doing, it's good enough. Okay. I'm going to leave this one to dry. Okay, I dried the background. It's not totally dry, but I can just pick it. That's the only spot where it's not dry. Pick some of that water up and let's glue the wildflowers down. That one I couldn't pop out. And blue book. Oh, there it is. Let's get that off. Okay. <laughs> and we will need some art glitter glue because this has a lot of detail. I'm not going to try. It would probably break if you try to glue it on with um a glue stick, a glue stick. Okay, that should do it. Okay, just gonna get my, just there's a lot of glue bleeding through because it's so delicate 
I'm going to pick up some of the glue. Okay. This one, let's do this one here. I'm just putting it down on the book because it's just a little easier because it is floppy. And some of this glue will kind of spread once you press it down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So even if it's not totally on all the spots, it should be good. Press it down again. Okay, and then this one will go in here. Just, I just want to see where I want these. And do I, yeah, I do have another yellow one. Thinking maybe I should have the yellow one over here. And then. This a little smaller. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's going on with my throat. I hope I'm not getting sick. That would be no fun, but it's, you know, the weather is changing. It is flu season, so I suppose it's not totally impossible that I am getting sick. Yeah, so today, if we did fly to South Africa, we would have been um, I think we would have been there, not yet, but a little later today for sure, which is just, <laughs> just sad. Let's put this one on the bottom there. off and do I need more maybe I'm gonna cut this one off because I have a need something here so that would be perfect for in there This one should it go lower? Oh, come on, fingers are sticky. We could always have one over there. Yes, let's do that. splatters will come <laughs> it's like when is the paint splatters going to happen we'll see we'll see um and i'm definitely going to put this on the down on my glue book because it is even way more flimsy because this is just a image i've got from a botanical book and by now my fingers are very sticky So yeah, my youngest daughter is here and we went to the Christmas craft fair in town. It was so much fun. I was going with a couple of friends on Friday, but because it was totally, it was snowing like crazy. And um, 
they had to come in from close, you know, just towns close by, but still you have to kind of dig yourself out of your driveway. And so they decided not to come in, which, um, you know, that's what happens with the snow. And so we didn't go and Daniela and I decided today we'll go and see what is at the craft fair. And there was quite some, a couple of interesting items. I did buy two Christmas gifts, which was great. I know that is. I'm just looking for maybe another label, or should I go? No, I think actually the document it looks really nice. Or do I want it down here and leave that out? Hmm, can't decide. <laughs> okay, we'll go with the. Okay, but I want to do the paint splatters first, and then I'll glue. I'll glue. Uh, yeah, I'll glue that down. I'm going to use um, the Van Gogh, where did I put it? Van Gogh um, watercolors again, and it's deep gold. And I usually just leave it in here. You can activate it again. See there, once you add some water. So I just have this little container on my desk all the time because, you know, there's nothing like gold splatters. And yes, now my desk is splattered too, but because it's water paint, it just comes straight off. I want a big splatter in that corner there without getting my entire desk. One big splatter there, please. Let's cheat a little bit because it looks like it's only giving me really small splatters. One bigger. Just a couple big ones. It's still splatters. I think. <laughs> anyway. Let's go. Well, and now it's giving me big ones. Oh my goodness. Okay, that should be good enough. I am going to leave this to dry and we can work on the other one and then just finish it off um, once we're in a minute. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna get rid of this crazy page that's covered in glue. Okay, so the next one is number 24 and it is butterfly and so i brought out these um i bought this and it is a uh, like from the dollar store and i've been trying to use all of it i like the orange one especially if i'm doing I don't I think I want to use these big ones and cut the butterfly in half. That's what I was thinking. And let me just close my glue. And then we make like a background, but I'm thinking that is too busy. What shall we do for a background? didn't think this through totally okay but let's let's do music <laughs> when all else fails go for music music paper music pages music and i think i still have some of that yes 1884 papers here yeah Okay, let's, and there's some coffee dyed papers. Let's do just like a random, and I'm wondering, let's just ink this up first because I don't want to cover the whole thing. I still want to see that it's a receipt. I'm using uh, receipts. 
Um, Amy's using gas checks. I didn't have any gas checks. And then let me, I did get some from um, Laura the other day. So now I have gas checks, but already started with these. These are backed and they're ready to go. So we'll just get rid of some of the white and then go in there. Okay, let's do a background, shall we? Kind of just do a loose collage kind of idea. And like I said, I don't want to cover the entire guest check or receipt. I still want to see that it's a receipt. Music over here. Let's see if we need more and if that is enough. I saw this little ticket here. I can always add that to maybe there. And then here I have this. Something like that, or do I not want the blue? I know that's too shiny, and I see this here has a little yellow flower. Let's see how that looks. I do like that. Okay. That came together faster. That met one. And this one, let's just put some ink and I'm using antique linen. That's what I use for the background as well. And we'll put some glue stick will work for this. It's not too flimsy. This came from a botanical book as well. And I think the butterfly I'm going to glue on with some art glitter glue. Maybe I was thinking maybe a word up there, but maybe then it becomes too busy. So let's just do like, just let's leave it as is. You know, sometimes you add too much and then it's, it's too busy and distracting. And I have the pen in my mouth because... I don't want to lose the pen because I lose a pen a day at least. I do want it kind of over colliding with the admit one. What's going on there? Where's my card? Okay. And then paper because now there's glue all over it and we will cut this down oh, 
I did put my scissors away on the right spot. <laughs> That's why I can't find it. And that's this one. I do like it. Okay, um, splatters are still not dry. So we will, I will come back and um, clean up a little bit. And because we have two more to do. And we'll finish the splatters off when we're done. Number 25 is wax. So let's just go all out and wax whatever we can so i found i have this i'm gonna make a blue wax seal let's put three in there and it'll take a while to let me just close this before i drop it in the wax pellets are all over so while that is melting let's wax this beautiful old stamp that i found I have done this before, I think just the other day. I'm all into waxing everything at the moment. After we got back from the, um, the slow stitching workshop, and because that's one thing that we did do there. So, I don't know, it just kind of, it just gives such a nice effect. Kind of makes everything go see through and like vellum. So I'm just using, I use some beeswax pellets here. And I'm just using my little iron in between two papers. It's just a little craft iron. Just because it's easier, I, it doesn't take up a lot of space to do it this way. And it's fast. If you just quickly want to just shut the iron off wax something really quickly the craft iron is a great solution and I have one put the iron on again one little spot here that didn't get waxed there and now it's waxed okay I also, from previous wax projects, I have this paper that's been in between something bigger that I waxed. And as you can see, it's now kind of vellum. And I was thinking maybe we'll back that on there. Amy asked for wax. We'll do wax. And maybe I should... Oops, that's still wet. How will I apply the, and what glue? Let's use um, art litter glue. Oh, okay, wait, the wax for the wax seal is melted. I'm, you, you, I use these um, trays because then I know my wax seal will be round and I glue it onto my paper rather than trying to make a wax seal. <laughs> Mine never, goes round or it's very fat this way I just know if it's a mistake I just melt it down again okay sorry for my head um, that can sit there for a minute we can maybe move this over and do more than one thing at a time that would be nice. Okay, let's glue. So put some glue on here. Because I want to put it on top like vellum. I don't see my little spreader. So I'm just going to spread the glue lightly with a credit card. Just so it doesn't make blobs on the paper. I'm not sure if you'll see the glue or not. So... Hmm, very messy today. Now, my wax paper on top. Okay. 
Okay. We've got it out. Yeah, so everything's waxed. The stamp is waxed. The paper is waxed. We'll have a wax seal. I think that should cover wax for this one. There's so many options for wax, I couldn't just do one. Oops. Okay. Put my scissors on the right spot again, so I won't ask in a minute, where did I put my scissors? It seems like it's happening too many times. Okay, so now we have our wax seal. We can get rid of this. I'm just putting it on the floor because now I have way too many things on this table. And I want to do something with the stamp. I don't know if I should leave it like this or put one on top of the other. Let's find an image. I was thinking maybe some flowers. And I should have put this behind the vellum that would have looked really nice I think mm, I like that okay let's use that and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of them one on top of the other and What else do we want to add on here? Nope. Um, or should we just do one? But then it's kind of not enough. I'll do two. And... Oh, where is that? I had that image. Let's put this behind here. Hmm, I don't like that. Okay, so should we try and maybe do this? And we need maybe a bigger I'm stumped. The wax seal. Okay. I like that. And then maybe I'll just do some paint splatters in the back. And I think that's all it needs because I don't think I want to add anything more to that page. I like it kind of just simple like that. Are we going to get just big small little splatters again and of course you know what i'm going to say we'll need to get this to there's the van gogh i'm gonna whoops add a little bit more paint in here okay and then the paint splatters will have to sit and dry again but we'll go on to the other one. Okay. Yes, I want bigger splatters, please. And on my paper. And you know what the other thing is? I wonder how long it would take to dry on the wax paper, but we'll find out. And I can dry it with the heat gun because it's wax on the back okay so this needs to dry I'm going to put that over there and so what is number 26 is a magazine image from a magazine so let's see i have this very big journal from 1961 let's see if we can find oh i like her an image from a magazine. 
Maybe I should just go with her and fussy cut her out. I do like her scissors. Let me just see if she is too tall. I suppose I can cut her feet off. Or could that be a problem? Her feet is cut off. Oh, now I'm thinking, are you sure you want to do that? Mm. Let's just do it. Got it. Image from a magazine. And I'm going to fussy cut her out. Maybe I'll come back, fussy cut her, and then you don't have to watch. Okay, she is done. I'm done fussy cutting her. I did, but I'm thinking I'm going to cut her legs off rather than putting her like that. Okay, and then what are we going to do? Let's put my glasses back on. Um, I do want to use this image somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay, so let's see if we can maybe use my painted piece in the back here and some flowers or just the flowers. No, I like that better. Kind of, you know, two totally different things that and what else do we have over here because that's very <laughs> butterfly maybe I should have taken put more stuff out and could maybe do that Is that a little bit bigger? No, it's not. Okay, let's put her here. This here. And this. And where did I put the other blue stamp? I love using stamps. This and this kind of thing. And then again, um, let's do the background in some watercolors again and I can draw it again off camera mm, so why is it so very blue now feels like it was a lighter color before okay I'm going to dry this with my heat gun and I'll be back. It is dry and let's add our background pieces. You won't believe it, but I lost the pen to my, <laughs> or the art glitter glue again. Oh well, let's put this down here. You can still see the number 26. It's not necessary, but I do like that. I can do see that. And um, then I know who's who. And let's see where we need that one because I kind of wanted it behind her head, but also overlapping with the blue here. Okay, and then she'll go on there, and number three, go on like that with a stamp on top, behind. Should number three go over her shoulder? Yeah, let's do number three over her shoulder. I also have this stamp, but I think, no, it's too big. Okay, blue lady's coming getting glue cut her leg 
legs off and we'll glue the number three and the stamp. Oops. We can kind of get both down. And then I did glue, um, ah, but used the heat gun for this and it was actually totally fine. The wax was, it, I think it just kind of melted back into the, and I'm thinking, do we want a wax seal for her? No. Okay. We need to glue this down. Our waxed paper page, <laughs> very waxed page. Background is waxed, the images is waxed, everything has wax. Okay, we'll put this down here. And the glue stick actually did glue onto the wax. I didn't think about that when I started gluing, but it didn't do too bad. Pretty impressed with that. This I probably would need to glue down with some art glitter glue rather than because it's wax on wax because we waxed this as well. Oh, there's the pen. I found the pen. But my glue is okay. Yeah, so this is both waxed. Love this stamp, it's beautiful. It's a British stamp. And then I just glue the wax seal onto my image. Rather than trying to make a perfect wax seal on my image which I never get anyway let's finish the splatters off that's the only thing that still needs to be done the splatters oops aren't that one isn't dry but I think the rest is dry and we're just gonna add the stamp here documented and then it just gives it a little bit more I don't want the stamp just lower okay okay so let's go just see what we've done today a little bit of white this is number 23 and it was paint splatters number 24 was butterfly 24 butterfly 26 was wax and everything on this is wax except the flower <laughs> and um, then 26 was an image from a magazine so that's it for today thank you for watching go look at all the other projects um, for the hashtag 50 stack challenge hosted by crafty cat and i will see you again soon bye